Hey, good morning. Welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Sorry, time. I need to drink a water. <coughs> I got a catch in my throat. 10 a.m. Mountain Time. And we take junk, leftover stuff from wood projects, and we turn it into home decor. And this morning, while Zeb and I were walking our our, our mall walking, we'll call it that, we go to the <laughs> rec center and do a couple of miles around the track. We were discussing what we should do. And I'm like, let's make some boxes that will fit like an Ikea plant. So, so here, show them what you did. Show them what you did. So I just took scrap ends. We're doing all the craft kit cutouts right now. And every board has a little bit of scrap at the end that we can't use. And so I just used that. Looks like I need to sand it a little because all the cuts weren't straight for the scrap. But fits pretty well. I'm like, make it fit this. You did a very good job. So we're going to show you how to take this MDF and we're going to give it a fun um, chippy paint finish, which if you guys have ordered the craft kits, those are going to start shipping the end of this week. Um, they typically ship the end of the month um, that they go out. So like it's January, they will be out by the 31st. So that's going to be working on that. And we're going to get started. So I do have a little bit of sanding. Like all these scraps are a little non-uniform, but you can, you can paint that one. It'll be fine. Okay. I think it's fine even if they're not perfect because that's the point, right? Really are they? Are they not? Are you going to have to go in the garage? Look, I have sandpaper. We just need to wait for them to glue up enough. Okay. Um, let's get started. I always like to go dark first so I have a good base coat. So let's get that little black dress. I'm going to grab some water um, and we'll do just like a black wash. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm not really going to concentrate so much on the inside. Do the outside. The inside will get painted, but it'll probably just be a, like a white or something. All right, so if you want to duplicate this yourself, I think these are five and a quarter. Let me just double check. So I'm getting this wet. I'm going in my paint now. Here's the situation. You should pour your paint out. Don't contaminate it like me. I'm just doing this so that way I don't use a ton of paint. I'm just using, like, it really makes it go farther. Oh, that's where we got off. These are five and three eighths on the bottom. And then my sides, this is all half inch MDF. My sides are four and three quarters by four and seven eighths high. So in case you missed it, this is just MDF that's scrap left over from our craft kit situation. And we got to use it. It's either use it or take it to the dump. So we like to find ways and things we can make with it. So if you do any kind of woodworking, chances are you do have some scraps left over and it's really important that we find ways to use them. So this MDF will suck up the paint and the glue. So if it's, if it's raw, it's pretty easy to just glue it up. I'm not going to staple these or nail them. You could. No one's stopping you, but not necessary. Did you see how like one brush dip? I almost dipped it again and then just water after that, really. Super, Maybe two brush dips. Like you don't super need. Super great coverage on that. You don't need a lot of paint to get this base coat. I'm not doing this for texture. This is just so that way when I distress, I don't distress back to that raw MDF. So I'm just overlapping these so they're they're butting up against all these sides are the same size. So as I put them on here, they're they're like an L shape like this all the way around instead of two that are shorter and two that are longer. Your dog is scratching the crap out of my door. Yeah, he is. I'm calling him your dog because you put him in there. Yeah. No one puts baby in timeout. <laughs> Cody is scratchy. Can you go get him? No. This one is <laughs> He's already open. scratched. Did you? That's the bad heat gun. It takes like a sec to get going. Just go get the good one. It's right over there. That Thing one's not going to get better. <laughs> that one has died a slow death. I think he would be okay if Rex was in there with him. I think he's. Is not. Rex not in there? No. Oh, yeah. That's why he's freaking out. I'll go put Rex in there as soon as I'm done gluing this one up. All right, and so when just... I get this done and it's drying the next coat, I'll show you guys the pots we did yesterday for our paint of Palooza. They turned out pretty cute. All right, so that's on there. That's pretty square. We're going to set this aside so it can get a little dry. And I'm going to go put the dogs all together so that they're not distracting. Max, you got to go inside with Cody. Come on. You could do this with actual wood. It doesn't have to be MDF. You could, it would also be super cute if you had like uh, cedar fencing from Home Depot, which is basically the cheapest wood you can buy. That has a lot of really great texture. 
and they make cute boxes. We made a lot of cedar fencing boxes in our day. Is he better now that Rex is in there? Yeah, Rex was just standing outside the door, scratching the outside, and Cody was inside scratching the inside. It's great. Love dogs. It's like having two toddlers in the house that just wreck everything all the time. <laughs> it's a true story. So uh, we went to the doctor yesterday. We did. Zeb uh, is doing good. Hashimoto's is better, not where they want it, but better. And his thyroid is actually working. So they had to back his thyroid medicine down by what, half? Half. Half of what he had been taking um, because his thyroid is working with the new diet. So the doctors was like, what are you doing? I'm like, to be honest, I got all, I ran out of supplements like around October. Um, there and are then, still a few you need to get back on. And I didn't continue taking them. I've just been trying to eat good. And they're like, well, your numbers are great. We're going to put you on less thyroid medication. Keep doing what you're doing. So when there, they we did say, fermented foods. they did say I need to start trying to eat some more fermented foods and Sour also dough. sourdough with the kamut. They're like, let's see what your levels look like all the way off of gluten. And so when you do a sourdough, it gets rid of the glutens um, just the way it ferments it. So I am going to try to go all the way off gluten until April and not have any at all. And we'll see how that goes. Because let's be honest, I've been eating lots of bread and pancakes and I'm waffles and all the things. <laughs> Sticky toffee pudding. Um, you know, you're supposed to have those things in minimal amounts and I've been eating plenty. But it, it was good news. Jamie did not get good news. I got okay news. Yeah, they put her on My a estrogen is there. good. My B12 still good. My B12 is probably the only reason I'm vertical most days because I found out that my, I was like, I am, I'm like, I thought it was my thyroid, which it is. I'm like, I'm sure my thyroid's in the tank and I'm not absorbing any nutrients. Like I thought, and I'm attributed to some of it because my dad died. Um, but I'm not depressed that my dad died. Like I'm sad, I miss him, but I'm not depressed. So I'm just like, what in the world? And people keep saying, just give yourself time. Um, my iron is like crazy low. Like I've talked to a few people and they're like, at my worst, your iron is still lower than where I was when I couldn't even get out of bed. Like, which explains why I have, like, if you ever hear me on like a close up video and I sound breathy, it's because I have no iron, which means I don't have oxygen in my blood. And so I get out of breath really easy. And I just attribute it to that. I was, you know, I'm like getting a little overweight, which, you know, that's part of it too, but it's, it's because my iron is just like so bad and my thyroid is in the toilet too so um they were hoping to that it would get better just by taking supplements and it's not so zev and i actually take uh not synthroid we take armor armor which is pig thyroid desiccated pig thyroid so it's absorbed better and it's not synthetic which is what synthroid is it is more expensive like if we were on synthroid it'd be like four bucks and what we oh, take really? is like yeah Dang. <laughs> that's what like, we take is like 80 or 90 dollars that's like a 30 second of what we're paying <laughs> yeah um but it it is absorbed better and then i'm <laughs> she's so funny she's like uh, i'm gonna let you keep working and i'll get to the next one she she's like well how do you do with things that taste bad she's like because i can give you an iron supplement but that is not enough like you are so bad and i'm like ew no Deb's like, she doesn't do well. She's like, do I'm like, you? if it doesn't taste great, she doesn't eat it. She's like, do you want to feel better? And I'm like, well, yeah. She's like, then you're going to have to, to uh, take this supplement, but it tastes gross. I'm like, oh, I don't know. So I ordered it. Luckily, I didn't have to go to the health food store because I'm not kidding when I tell you I'm so exhausted. Like poor Zeb, every day I'm like pulling myself to keep going until I can get into bed at a reasonable hour, like 7 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, last night you were in bed and I was going to young men's Because I now have an excuse. I have low iron. Like before I was feeling And it was like 6.30 like, no. and she was already, had already fallen asleep. I was a little, a little nap. I'm like, if you go to sleep right now, you're going to be up all night. Just a little cat nap because I had been up since midnight the night before. But anyways, I'm taking a uh, liquid iron supplement and it, as, as described, it does taste nasty. Um, but, but not, not so bad that I can't like, I'm like, I can do this. I can be a, I can put my big girl panties on and take something that tastes gross. So within two to three weeks, um, it should make me feel better. Um, and we'll see how my thyroid does. 
I'm still on a lower dose of thyroid than Zeb, but I don't have Hashimoto's. He does, so it's a little bit different. But my whole family, oh, and my cholesterol is worse than it was before, which is annoying because I eat so much better. Like I was eating fast food all the time and drinking soda, and then my thyroid, my cholesterol is worse. But that actually has a lot to do with my thyroid. So we're fixing my thyroid, and then we'll get like a baseline, and then we'll know what to do with my cholesterol. Because it's like, you got to eat this because it's healthy for you, but also it's high in fat. And I'm like, so basically I just drink water. Like, That's what I told I She had some orange juice with breakfast this morning. She's like, oh, it tastes like my iron stuff now. Yeah, my iron <laughs> is like lots of juices and extracts. And I'm like, I can't drink this. It tastes like my iron. Whoa! Wasn't ready yet. It wasn't glued. It's fine. You took it too quick. It's fine. I'm going to just keep going. All right. Can you use chalk paint on a metal exterior door? Yeah, you can use DIY paint. Then just seal it with an exterior sealer. That's the most important part. Um, and if it's straight in the sun, just know that if you need UV protection, you're going to have to use an exterior sealer that has UV protection or will fade over time. We painted our, we use very chalk weather, but same concept at our last house and it was fine. We had DIY paint on this front door here, but we have a big covered porch. And so it didn't fade. We actually didn't even seal it for like a year and a half. It was fine. Is it sealed now? I don't even know. Yeah, it is. I switched it up to exterior paint. Where's my portable staple gun? I have it. I'm not, I'm just showing you how to glue them together. You don't, you don't have to staple these. They're not. That, that MDF is going to soak. We're doing corbels. You should show them the corbel for the craft kits. We use just glue on them. No staples. Yeah. They're and great. It, they are like really awesome. All right. So yeah, you could totally staple this if you want, but for being for interior home decor, I'm just going to glue these up. I am. Let's see. I was so low, I had to take iron to IV. Yeah, that's what Caitlin did and mine probably, they would do that except for, ain't nobody got time for that. And um, I'm, I seem to be tolerating that liquid iron fine. And I think it's because, no offense to like most modern medicine doctors, but they, um, they wanna just give you like a pill or an IV and they probably wouldn't prescribe this supplement that I'm taking. I'm not saying it's 100% and that I won't take anything else, I'm just saying, a lot of times natural type supplements like this are not their first line of defense. And sometimes the pills they prescribe you, like Caitlin couldn't take the pills because of intense distress on her GI tract. She has a sensitive GI tract anyways, but it was really bad and that's why they did the IVs. But so far it's been okay. Orange juice helps iron absorb. That's awesome, but I can't drink it. <laughs> So I'm like, I'm already taking this nasty tasting supplement. Baby steps. Baby steps. And I drink. That one was brand new. Take this one here. It's the oldest. Oh, no, it's not. You got to give these time to set up before you start handling them. All right. I'll just heat gun this one and move on with my Yeah, life. you paint one of them. I did that one before the live stream. Vitamin Z, do vitamin C does help. And I do take vitamin C. <laughs> I All take right, here a we go. solid amount of supplements every day. Don't touch my stuff. <laughs> Can you use some brush for painting that you use for wax? You have to remove the wax if you're going to do that. Um, and it's incredibly hard to get it all out. If you are going to do that, use warm water and a degreasing soap like Dawn. Or like I've also used our dish soap that we sell and that seems to work. But you're probably never going to get all the wax out. But yeah, I do because we use our stencil brushes for wax. And we also use them for stenciling interchangeably. And I just clean out as much wax as I can and I stencil. But I feel like if you were dipping it and like brushing on it as opposed to stenciling it, that's a different like type. Maybe I should have stapled these so that Jamie can handle them. <laughs> My husband is patient and sweet. That is a true story. I feel like it kind of has to be with me. I require patience. Life is always fun over here. Well, my brain really isn't working that well. Like, I legit can't remember people's names and stuff. Like, I knew your name three seconds ago. And it just makes me feel like, oh, I'm not going crazy. I just don't have enough oxygen. So I'm all right with it. It's like if you have, it's like you have a, you, you know something's wrong, but you don't give yourself grace until somebody tells you what's wrong. Oops. We're just going to move on. I'm just going to leave that. It's not actually touching the ground. The heart, the hot part. It's like not. Maybe you should just nail these. Well, that one's super fresh too. Mm -hmm. That one there got glued before. Just work with it. I'm upset. You got one you can paint. 
Oh yeah, Renee is correct. My sister's on here. It's genetic. So every single one of my sisters have a thyroid problem um, and also a cholesterol problem. I don't know that the iron is genetic because I don't know if my sisters have that problem, but a lot of doctors don't check for iron the way that they should. And then even when they do, they don't prescribe the right stuff. So you got to be careful with that. But I was actually surprised I went this long without thyroid meds. I feel like I should have told them this summer when she said, you're borderline, we'll see if we can fix it with supplements. I should have just insisted and said, no, like this has been going on a while. And also we were a few months late on our blood work. So they would have caught it a little earlier. That's on us. It's hard to make time, man. Well, and who right. wants to go get stabbed? Yeah, well, it's not really that big of a deal to go to get blood work, except for you have to be fasting, which is a pain in the derriere. All right, Zeb, do we want to do like pantry door, Corabel, Juniper, what milk paint? Why don't we mix it up? What? Why, I, why don't we mix it up? Um, oh, Olive? We haven't used that in a while. There you go. I love Oh, Olive. Okay. It's one of my favorites. So I'm going to mix up the milk paint and I'm going to let it sit to thick it up. And I will do a coat of white swan or something and then we'll put the milk paint All right. So... I know I'm asking a lot of this glue, but had it not been so fresh and Jamie not been handling it over here and painting it, these would have stuck together really well. Um, I'm going to go grab you a corbel and show you the way I do this same same way. So show you how he does it when I'm not around breaking stuff. Oh, I eat oatmeal like a lot. That's the thing is like, she's like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, I, we, <laughs> I eat a lot of oatmeal and thyroid medicine will make your cholesterol read higher. However, um, that's usually Synthroid, which is different. So anyways, I'm not here to give out medical advice. I just like to share things. So I feel like maybe it would help people. So these corbels here have been glued in the same manner I'm doing these boards and they've been sitting overnight. I could probably toss these out in the street and they're not, they're not going to come apart ever. <laughs> so also same leaving. same same these are structural these are the same ones if you saw the video we made shelves out of these exact same corbels and i did split the wood but that's my fault i didn't countersink far enough and the head of the screw went down in and split it and that's on me so, you know maybe i'll do this coat next and then white can i have some of that salt water i'm gonna put that in with my so if you've seen that video you now know what not to do and how to get them right and make a good shelf they're still fine structural shelf up and there. we're gluing all these before we ship them out to you so you're welcome. I just felt like it would be easier for us to glue them than to ship the glue and for people not to do it right and then not be have success. Yeah. So after I'm done painting the thrift hall today, and actually probably simultaneously, I thought about just throwing a tarp on the dining room table and we'll just get them glued up and then I'll come paint. The well, thrift I'm just hall gluing the them out there. I have a bunch ready to go that need glued. Um. Anyways, I'm using all of milk paint. Sorry, guys. I was like, what's my next sentence here? I'm going to add salt wash. I want to like oatmeal, but can't take the texture. Yeah, it's pretty gross. I don't like it either, but I will eat it. And you can like, you can blend oatmeal and make it smoother. Like you don't have to eat oatmeal straight up and you can make more of a, like a cream of wheat, but with oatmeal. I have done that in the past. What type of glue do you use? We use um, Type Bond 2 and we buy it in the gallon, right? Type yep. Bond 2? Yep. Type Bond 3 is great, but it sets up really fast. Maybe that would be good and today. It's, it's more exterior waterproof, um, the Type Bond 3 mm -hmm. is, but I, I don't like how fast this sets up. Like I want to be able to move my piece a little bit if I need to. Overnight. I don't like overnight oats either. I love oatmeal. So, but overnight, I like my oatmeal warm. So overnight oats, I'm like, yeah, I'm just well, going to cook it anyway, essentially. It makes it like softer. You can do overnight oats and then heat it up. I made my milk paint too thin, so I'm adding... I'm adding salt wash just as a thickening agent, so don't mind me. But you see how fast these are coming together. I it, I cut these out, like all these pieces. I just set them up. I drew a little line on my uh, miter saw table and just been cutting these. Uh, I cut the sides and the top and then the bottom all at once and took like 10 minutes to cut these out from the, the scraps. All right, can I have a clean brush and white swan? I put all the brushes over there after I washed them. Thank yep. You. 
So I think I'm going to go, I'm just going to let that thicken up. I put way too much water. You should do one part warm water to one part milk paint, but I don't know horrible about that. So I'm just going to splotch this on here kind of thick and haphazardly. Who's following rules? What? Who's following rules? Not, clearly not me. And this is, my paintbrush is a little wet, so it's like thinning this out. That's all right. It's all right. What kind of wood we're using? This is just leftover MDF half inch from our Corbel kits that we made for the craft kits that are going to be going out at the end of this month. We like to, that's it. You know, if you guys are in the business or even if you're not, like it's super important to use every piece because you will make so much more profit and you don't want to charge more for your stuff because you're not making enough on it. And a way you can do that is to use up the scraps. So as every, best you can. every square inch costs you whether yeah. you use it or not story that's how it was when we were building a house i feel like we did save some money because we were conscious about scraps. and i used every scrap like all the little short pieces of wood we used for blocking in between the studs on the walls like and we made cutting I, boards off of stair tread ends yeah i really did not waste too much on that there was some boards that were like twisted and gross and i'm like no I'm not using that we're going to be working on chicken coop next week, hopefully, if the weather holds oh, out. Man. Yeah, and if I have get... a little more energy, like poor Zeb, like I, I've been doing my best. Like I, I do still get a significant amount of work done, even admittedly with all of the low iron and thyroid. A lot of, a I mean, lot of it fine. is mental fortitude, like just forcing yourself to do things, even when you don't feel like it. And, but we have not gotten as many projects done as I've wanted to do. And so hopefully by next week, I'm feeling a little better and we're going to get started on the chicken coop and use um, a lot of the wood that we tore out of the renovation um, from the church that we turned into a shop will be used for that. It's eco-friendly. It's pocketbook friendly. What you asking for? I'm just miscounted. I thought I had enough for nine and I've got eight here. Oh. Did the angel molds turn out? Will they be available on the website? Um, the one did. We need to figure out how much resin it actually it took. It takes a lot of resin, so they're, I got to figure gonna out. Be, when we pay, we sell like the little round ones for like $9. I think they're probably in the 20-ish dollar range. It's over there. I'll go grab it in a sec when I'm done gluing this yeah. one up. My phone was vibrating. Make sure there's not like an emergency situation. All right. You're gluing up a lot. I feel like you're making some work for me. I was like, you know what? Once we glue up these boxes, we got to start doing cool stuff. Like you're doing all that texture, but I thought some would be fun to stencil. Well, you can stencil um, texture. We could also do like some, you could do inlays, IODs. You could add molds to these. Like you can do whatever you, you can take these pretty far and do some fun stuff. So when you heat gun um, the DIY paint and you put it on thick, it will make it crackle a little bit, which I like. And I was literally paint slapping there for texture. I eat raisins. Yeah, I saw raisins, prunes, all the things I eat and love, actually. I eat a lot of red meat. Um, we, we do want to eat more fish, but like legit, huh? We can only eat so much. Well, their doctor told her, she's like, your iron is so bad. Even if you were just eating like straight up red meat that's pretty high in iron, it would not be enough to help correct what you've got going on. Like you got to get right and then sustain it. Yeah. It's, I won't have to do it forever. Jan says, I love little boxes. Yeah. These are super cute. And I think they're going to look great for little Ikea plants, or you could just put a pot in here and plant herbs. I'm getting into the planting season, spring, all of those things. Like you can never have enough boxes and pots in your shop. If you have a retail store, like they will absolutely sell, especially if you find little plants to put in them for display. Oh, Heather's number 12 clock. She got it yesterday and it didn't break. Hallelujah. All right. That's good because it roughly cost like $2 million to ship it. So, so I'm glad it arrived. I also made sure that like a pint jar or a quart oh, would fit in here too. Yeah, so, so you, you could do like an like actual floral arrangement up in here. Does a heat gun cost issues for the glue? No, it just helps it dry. You got to keep it moving. I mean, you don't want to do one. Oh, I, I like to do like uh, assembly line. So if these were all dry, I'd do all the dark and I do all the white, then do all the milk paint. Here, it I'll really is you. best use of your time. I'll help you delicately. 
Yeah, you're more delicate than I am. Let's be honest. Let's see, I think this one is getting pretty dry. Got a couple we can paint here. Um, Wendy has a question about milk paint. Sorry. Uh, I didn't see the question. Sometimes it's hard to paint and read. So if I miss it again, just DM us. It's probably your best bet. Still a little thick. For Valentine's Day, yeah. You can put flowers in here for Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, and we're doing like a dark undercoat. You can do whatever color you want on something like this. I feel like, though, if you want it to look good, you need to do something dark. So if you just dress back to it, that's the layer you're at. What are the measurements on them? Seb, what? All right, so measurements, let me do it again. I think they're five and three, eight, no, five and a quarter. Um, and then the the sides are all four and three quarters by three and seven eighths. And you can give or take, you can do three and three quarters. They're a little tall, um, but, and then I just, you can see how these are glued up. I made all the sides the same size instead of doing like too long and too short and just end to end on them. Oh, the difference between milk paint and DIY paint. Well, milk paint, if you saw me earlier, it comes in powder form. You got to mix it up. Um, both all natural. Milk paint is USDA bio certified um, food safe and it doesn't last once it's mixed up. So you have to use whatever you mix up. And milk paint is typically... You might be able to get a day or two out of the if, of it in the Maybe. fridge. But if you've added it. extra bond, I'm getting texture. There's like something on the drop cloth here. <laughs> Sweet. Um, yeah, it doesn't last very long. Um, you have to seal it just like milk paint. And it crackles and chips on its own. It does get highs and lows like DIY paint. It's in, an old form of how you they used to make paint. So it does have like a really authentic look. It's nowhere near like a latex. The cool thing, thing about it is bio certified food safe. What? Just dress it. So hopefully that answers your questions. And also if you go to YouTube, type in or go to our milk paint playlist, that's going to be more than I can tell you in well, the time we got here. And there's tons and tons and tons and tons of videos. So that's where I would start. Well, those are the basic differences, and it is thinner. Can you give me another brush, Vinny? Uh, Heather Shaw says, white linen from Cottage Color is my new staple for outdoor porch items. So Cottage Color, even though we don't advertise it as such, is rated for outdoor projects. Um, you do want to keep it out of lots of weather just sitting on it, and um, you want to prep your piece. Like if it's a wood piece, you want to sand it. Um, but it does. We actually have a few pieces. We have that thing we put in our garden. This is O-Olive, by the way um that we put plants in and we painted a metal bowl and it's still fine and we painted an old milk can now we painted over rust that didn't work out so well yeah the rust uh did its own thing from under it attacked from underneath <laughs> milk paint will chip and crackle on its own if it's over an existing finish but in this case where it was like raw mdf i kind of have to coerce it to do that because mostly it just sucks into the raw mdf so the heat gun will help it, and then I'll wet distress it and heat gun it again, and that'll help it get chippy. We will most likely paint the bottoms on these, but that'll be the last step. That'll be a not while we're live step. Yep. What was my iron number? 37? 37. And it's supposed to be like 100 and something. 180, I think, is what she said she wanted you to get to and above. Sorry, I'm used to low numbers. <laughs> Remember when she was giving my, my testosterone and progesterone numbers the first time? She's like, you're like three. Okay. Like, <laughs> what is even going on here? Like, I don't know. Listen, I don't know. When are my new colors coming out? We have not been giving a date. Right now, I know Debbie's just focusing they're in, on. They're in like the production for the initial samples for us to get. So once they get those color matched and, and uh, formulated up, then we'll get those. And then if there's any tweaks, we still got to do that. 
And then there's usually a month or so of the warehouse being like, okay, we need to make X amount before we can start selling them so that they have some back stock. So it's probably April-ish, realistically. Oops. I shouldn't have messed with that. Late March, somewhere in there. <laughs> We're getting texture here because I burnt it and then I wiped it off and I painted over it. We're just going to pretend like that's fine. We don't really have control over that part of it. We yeah. picked our colors. Now we wait. Um, we do have stencils coming out Friday, um, but don't feel like if you want something today, you have to wait till Friday to order anything because our stencils and our milk paint DIY paint is um, not free shipping, but our other DIY supplies are. So you can kind of just order what you need when you need it. Those will come out Friday. And if you have a local retailer, check with them to see if they're getting them. Um, so we probably had, like I said, 10 or 12 retailers order them. So a lot of them do not have them, but they could probably, they can order them and still get them in for you. The JRV stencils. Oh, can you fix the camera? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, I Ivy, you're the only person I've ever ha heard of had a lower iron level than me. Hers was 11. Wow. Before her hysterectomy. It's a struggle, man. But good news is we went to the doctor and took care of it. It's kind of hard. Like it stinks, especially when you're self-employed because like normal people go get blood work and it's maybe 50 bucks, a hundred bucks. We go and it's $550 <laughs> plus the doctor visit. But the flip side so is- So the doctor visit do, was a hundred and 400 of that was, was the, the phlebotomist. But the flip side is we don't pay $2,500 a month for major like insurance, which is what it would cost. Which if you were from out of the country, you'd probably like, you're probably like, what? Are you crazy? We do have major medical. So that's covered. What? A little shy on glue. Cindy says her first order of DIY paint is being delivered tomorrow. Lots of projects waiting for the white wax. White wax is good nice. stuff. All right, I'll show this to you up close. Um, here, just so you can kind of see what it looks like right now. So I just I didn't add any salt wash or anything. I just slapped the um, DIY paint on there, and it helped build texture for that milk paint to sit down in, which is what I wanted to do, which is why I love DIY paint. And I love layering paint. We're already starting to get some chipping of this. And uh, I'm probably gonna layer on another coat of the milk paint. So I wanna make this look like old wood. You don't have to like milk paint and DIY paint, you can paint things, sand them smooth, make them look perfect. You could totally do that. You can use that's what we do that a lot with cottage colors because that's kind of what that paint is made for. But we like to manipulate it and make it do something different. That's fun. It's more like being an artist, like a faux finish artist. That's the goal. Pretty much every time we paint. Like, how can we make this look old? Are there ways to get your blood work done cheaper? Yeah, we actually get it the cheapest way because if they bill us, it would cost us a thousand dollars to have our blood work done. And that's, so. I mean, that's for us because we have a healthcare plan. It doesn't cover like doctor's visits or prescriptions or like, but we also work. don't pay upfront for the insurance. So yeah, like we're saving, we actually like, it's like 700 a month or something, 650. For yeah. Our we actually, family. we use what's called Christian healthcare ministry. And it's like, it's almost like a healthcare co-op plan. Like if Jamie were to have a baby, after the initial, like, like we pay our $500 deductible and then the rest of having that baby would be covered, but Jamie they don't, have a no baby. but they don't cover like, um, urgent care visits and things like that. Well, they do if it cut over like $500, yeah, if it goes over 500, but bucks, they don't cover but... blood work no matter what. But I think we probably could, but the thing is we only pay like it's the blood work that's expensive and they don't cover that. And they would cover doctor's visits over 500 and it for one particular instance, like if I have low iron 
if I go to the doctor and the doctor's visits accumulate over $500 for the low iron, then they would cover above and beyond that $500, but not the blood work, if that makes sense. But still, we're saving like $1,500 a month, so I can afford to occasionally spend $400 on blood work. It's like cheaper. <laughs> it's really worked out. We've been doing it since um, I quit my job because I had dis I had insurance at Discount Tire, um, and it's been fine. Like we've all all the big stuff has been covered. When Jack broke his arm, they covered that. Um, Harrington had to have an MRI on his elbow because he heard it wrestling. They covered that, so it's been good. <laughs> Everybody's laughing with my head popping up when he said Jamie Brown, Jamie and Jimmy. I'm no that was just an easy example. <laughs> There'd be a lot. We're more we're real happy with the five children we have. I'm 40, and uh, my hormones are already out of whack, so it's, it would not be healthy for me. I don't think. I have two dogs and like a billion chickens. A billion. My mom last night when I was babying Cody, she's like, maybe you have another baby. I'm like, nope. Sure don't. I love my kids. I do. And I love being a mom and I still love being a mom. But I think sometimes there's wisdom in knowing when you're done. <laughs> like, we're, we're working towards being ready for that next phase. We're about I, to have two adult children and uh, – being grandparents probably is not too far in the near future. I'd say I'd say within the next five years, one way or another. Oh, you're getting a lot of stuff done over there. Good job. Yeah, a lot. I'm the only one of my sisters who didn't have a a baby, and my mom after advanced maternal age. Well, maybe Renee. I think I think she was 34 when she had Austin. I, mean, I can't remember. My mom was 43 when she had me. I had, how old was I when I had Jack? 31, 32? He's, he's going to be nine this year, so. I was 31 when yeah. I got pregnant. And I had him just before my 32nd birthday. Yep. Um, amen. <laughs> Rustic rehabs. <laughs> <laughs> the, the idea of being Prego again makes me want to run forest run. <laughs> Jen says, I still have a few years. Well, not really. I mean, Zeb might have some questions for me. All right. Uh, is that bohemian blue? No, Zeb used little black dress. So this is little black dress, and it is dry. We're putting it on super thin with water because it really helps it absorb down into this wood and dry quickly because this is MDF, and it just it's super thirsty. It sucks it up. Do you want to paint some and stencil them? Yes, I'm gonna just do paint this them one. Paint them wet distress stencil. I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the inside too though, but All the right. inside didn't need a second coat because we're not gonna be distressing. Oh, I just that. painted the inside with milk paint. Oh, okay, well this is well, my final dry. color on this. So. Have, my milk paint's pulling off here. Well, it does chip and crackle, especially if you heat gun it. You might get really fun texture on that. <laughs> Leah, I had ba five babies. I felt pregnant for ten years. I was funny because I was talking to the doctor yesterday. I'm like, listen. I would love, she's like, well, what are some of your goals? I'm like, I would love to be the same weight I was when I was nine months pregnant with my first four children, which is 150 pounds. <laughs> like that's a goal weight right there. She like died laughing. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so funny. <laughs> All right, so Zeb's gonna do that. I will grab stencils. Yeah, you wanna go grab me some stencils? Yeah, and then we'll let this dry. I'm tired of heat getting, I'm moving on with that. Yeah, own. we have that one up there that if you're delicate with it and don't push hard with the paintbrush, I mean, they take probably about half hour to an hour for the glue to set up. I'm delicate with what? The painting, you can't push hard with your brush. It's so hard because I'm over here and I'm like, look at all these new stencils. I know, I was talking cute. about that this morning on the track. I'm like, I wish we could use the new stencils this morning, but we're waiting until Friday. We told the it's retailers fine. to wait, so we're gonna wait too. We're gonna be good. Just know that when the video comes out on Friday, just click on it. You're going to want to. You're going to yeah. want to see them. We've got a video <laughs> coming out Friday using all the new stencils so you can see the new designs and and uh, see some of the fun projects we've got cooked up for them. Well, and some of the things that we've come up with, like I've never seen them in stencils before, and I Googled it. So I feel like it's pretty good. 
I don't know where my pack of grain sacks went. Um, it was over there. I have two ones. That, Is I'm, it over one. here off to the side? It's fine. I'll just open a new one, but when I clean out my stencils, I'm going to have to sell some half-used stencils because I have a ton of them. All right, I'm going to give you the heat gun so you can heat gun that. Okay. And then... Yeah, we got to be careful because Seb basically looks at me and I'm pregnant. That's how we had five children. <laughs> Sorry. That's just the way it went around here. And ironically, I didn't really plan ahead well because I have four children within birthdays of two weeks. Like, look, why did we think about this? Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, from July 21st to August 11th, we have four birthdays. <laughs> so if you heat gun one side, I can stencil it. And then our anniversary is August 17th. <laughs> and then we'll just dress it. I'm going to stencil in weathered wood. So when stenciling, a quality stencil and a quality stencil brush will save you lots of headache. And also you want to offload your brush and you also don't want it to be wet. So like I just really, really washed this brush and so I'm going to get all the liquid out of it. All right, so one coat of the black paint. <laughs> Jen says, apparently Zeb looks at you at the same time every year. Yep. When it starts to get cold, the end of October, beginning of November. Because <laughs> all those babies, if you guys didn't know how babies are made, I'm sorry, but they take nine months. And all those babies are born the end of July, beginning of August. Except for Eliza, who was born, ironically, on April Fool's. Like, joke's on you. <laughs> April Fool's. Give us a hint what the new stencils will look like. Um, labels. Yep. Labels, but not like we've seen before. Those probably aren't as unique. And oh. I'm going to say dishes. That's going to be. That's it. That's, that's all you it. Can that's say. all the hints you're getting. Um, Ivy wants me to know that I have a toolbox full of stencils upstairs. I know. We're leaving those there because we plan to take the second floor and push all the extra product to one side. Although we're clearing a lot of we're stuff We're probably out. going to clear that, push that product up to the third floor. We're, we're putting Christmas upstairs and we're still continuing to clearance out things. So don't miss our video tomorrow. We'll have more on that that's clearancing out. And please, please, please hit the sale collection at JamieRayVintage.com and peruse that and see if there's anything you need because we are clearing Those are like last chance. Yeah. Once they're gone, they're gone. We got to oh, get rid of them products. We did get more of those white enamel, like the little ones from last week, the French flower buckets, and they were the same. They had the weird glue in the bottom. So we did add those to the sale collection yesterday. So definitely check out. Go to January Vintage, click sale. Ivy can drop that link here. Um, and then you guys can check that out because that will help us clear out our second floor because we're making a filming studio in there because as much as I love to do this in my kitchen, it's giving me a severe eye twitch. Well, yesterday we didn't we didn't even get done with we had such a busy afternoon between the doctor's appointment, taking kids to football practice because Redrick and Jack are doing like a spring football club and also um, youth activities with the church because the kids go and, and I'm a leader. Um, we, the thrift hall that we were painting yesterday in the morning was still all here. Like we haven't moved the drop cloth in two days. <laughs> There's, there might, there may or may not be like the makings of some nachos over there on the corner of the drop cloth where Jack. Cause kitchen stuff still nachos. happens whether we clean it or not. <laughs> so I'm using this weathered wood and my stencil brush. Hopefully I got most of the water out of it. You want a very dry stencil brush. So if you've recently washed your stencil brush, that is not a good time to start stenciling. Um, and I'm using uh, the grain sack stencil, the mini pack. That's some good form there. Are you laughing at the way, are you making fun of my stencil form? I could just do this, is that better? And swirl, and swirl. It's all fine, however you want to do it. Ta-da! 
Got that on there. And then we'll just stress that back. All right, I'm ready. Should I do the other side? Should I do both sides? Yeah, do some more sides. That's going to be seen from multiple angles. I got to do both sides because you're taking too long over there. <laughs> I know, I'm slacking. Slacking, just kidding. I'm just, took me how long to paint that box, still trying. Well, you did some special things to that box. You you went all out. I always do special things. That's why the thrift haul takes me forever to paint because I'm like, you know what would be good on that? A wash. You know what else would be good on that? A little colored wax. Oh, you know what? Like that rooster that Zeb did yesterday, I added a wash to it afterwards. It's better now. Like I come back the next day and I'm like, yep, nope, not shipping that. Even if it's already sold and it doesn't really matter, I guess, I don't care. I'm going to keep working on it and make it look the way I want before it gets shipped out. It's just the way it is. And that is why I don't get other things finished because I'm layering it up on my thrift haul. But it looks painting good. is the most fun and that's what takes the most time. Thrifting is the most fun. Painting is the natural result of thrifting for me. And I also enjoy it because I can never find just the cool stuff as is. Or I guess I could if I spent, oops, I shifted. I got shifty. But I don't have time. It takes more time to like thrift all over the dang state. So I'm like, you know what? I will just make it cool with paint. Like if you're watching and you did not see the beginning of this, I showed the cute pots we did yesterday. They legit look old. Yeah, they turned out good. Okay. They needed a little dry time. They look better now that they're dry. Yeah. Everything looks better when it's dry. Those candlesticks we did yesterday, those turned out super cute and look better when they're dry. The twisted one is still available. I did update the picture on that on the thrift haul collection as well as the candlestick. This is not my best stenciling effort, but it still looks good. Well, we got to distress. Yeah, distressing hides a myriad of sins. All right. Ready? Almost. I'm going to give this one to you so that you can heat on it. I keep touching this like it's going to be dry, but I feel like the milk paint really just needs to dry. On well, you you made it thin, so. I missed the pots. I can totally show them for you while Zeb heat guns that. And I can show you the candlesticks. We'll do a little showy tell. I still haven't finished the corbels I started yesterday. But do you want me to do some with more milk paint on them? What? Did you paint that white and then Yeah. milk paint? Yeah. So three All layers right, so of paint? So here's the pots. Up close. Let me see. They're kind of blurry. You should show them the rooster with the wash. Okay, I'll show you the rooster with the wash. That's all going to the shop. It's got to get shipped out today. So they look all crusty and decrepit and old. So that was my goal. And then we got this candlestick here that finally dried and it looks awesome. All right, and then I'll show you the rooster. The rooster already sold. So I'm not updating the photo online. But we are gonna do, the next craft kit will be this rooster, but it's gonna be bigger. And it looks good, but I just did a whitewash. And it will be a different that. style rooster. I'm yeah, gonna it's do my own. this weird. Uh, I'm gonna do situation. my own like style. I just like that it rocked. I'll design my own rooster. Don't you worry. And then this is already sold, but this is my pot that we did yesterday for our paint of palooza. I just painted the inside black, sealed it up. So. Oh, they want to see the angels. They want to see the angel too? Oh, the mold? Yeah. The mold turned out great. Yeah, we're going to add some more copper to our relief that we made. But I thrifted this angel for $2.50 in Arizona. I'm going to sell it. We made a mold of it, poured the mold in resin, and now we have this. So we're not, we'll sell this one finished, but we're probably just going to sell them unfinished so you all can paint them the way you want. We just need to figure out how much resin they take and time, and then we'll sell. But there probably will be a limited amount of number because we have... We have a limited amount of time. <laughs> That's why I made eight of these this morning. I'm like, let's, <laughs> let's make enough that we can put some in the shop, but we're probably not circling back to the scraps for a while. Yeah, this is it. Fertility tricks. I don't have any, 
but I do know that there is a lot of like natural supplements and things that can help. I wish I could remember them, but I just follow this lady. I follow a lot of, I've gotten a little crunchy, like not a hundred percent crunchy. Cause I'll still go to McDonald's every now and then. And we do have cold cereal in the cabinet for our kids. But I, I follow a lot of people that are like homesteaders and stuff. And a lot of people that have like 10 children. <laughs> and yeah, like like six to 10 is the norm for a lot of these people we're watching on YouTube. <laughs> and they have Which is things. fine. That's great. We love it. You know, my Aunt Joanne, she had 12 kids. No judgment. The rooster is already, that one's already sold. We're going to do a new one for the craft kit, but we don't have that ready yet. That'll be like end of April when that craft kit Cooper, comes you're still out with strep. You know that you're not contagious after 24 hours. Did you make them give you a shot or are you on oral antibiotics? Because the shot is better. It's faster. My kids hated it because I'd be like, just give them the shot. We do not have time for this in our life. Also, Although some people have a poor reaction to the shot, but my kids always survived. Marianne, I have 46 grandkids. That is a lot of grandkids. Nice. Um, did you try the salt water though? It's warm the salt, salt water. water. Gargle. gargle. Yeah, it will make your throat feel better. Not that I'm telling you what to do. Your mom is a nurse, so she probably knows all these things. Um, if you had a chance to choose just a few paints and waxes, we get this a lot. Um, I would say like white, white swan, white linen, if you want something with a built-in sealer, weathered wood, apothecary, or farm fresh. Um, clear wax, dark wax, white wax. So the thing about the clear wax, um, I would get a big clear wax. And if you're just starting out or doing home decor, you can get away with just doing a sample size white and a sample size dark. Less. And still get a lot of projects done. Less, no. She hates the rooster. Less hates the rooster. No. No, she's not, she's not going to knock it off, Less. Um, how much are the kids? They are anywhere from... I think they're 42 if 42 you're subscribed for the shipping, but they're the already month, closed the quarterly for this. or whatever. They're already closed for the corbels and we're, we'll have some extras that we'll sell off and then we'll reopen um, sometime in February and you can order for the next craft kit. Yeah, we have to close them because I have to have X amount of time to finish making them all. And the one time we pre-did it where I made a bunch of stuff beforehand, we actually didn't sell very many. We ended up with a lot of extra craft kits. So we just wait until we know how many we need to make. And then I make them over the course of about a week and then we ship them out. All right. I'm going to use this grains one, this French grain one. Aaron says, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> now Les is just saying hi. Hi, Les. I'm going to use, so these grain sack stencils have six different grain sack designs on them. And they're so good for decor. Like I love the big grain sack designs, but if you're just starting out and flipping, if you get one of our mini packs, it's a lot of bang for your buck. And you can use just different elements. You don't even have to use the whole thing if you don't want to. And it will set you apart because you can't go to Michael's or... Hobby Lobby and get this style of stencil. They just, they don't make them. Or the quality, like oh, the yeah. thickness. You can use these a hundred times, wash them, paint all over them. They're still good. We've, we've used these stencils for years. Well, this one I them. just pulled out of the package. Those ones, because you lost them, not because the other ones wore out. Yeah, that's why I can, that's why when I clean You took them to the shop and somehow they got in the shuffle and we can't find them now. There's going to be a de-stashing sale. I think some of mine might be in the garage, actually. But yeah, these are 15 mil thickness. They're basically industrial, like concrete stencils. Odelia does not have strep throat, just so everybody knows. <laughs> Which is good. But if she does, I'm going to have questions, Cooper. I'm pretty sure Cooper would have answers. <laughs> <laughs> she can't get sick. State is on Friday. State cheer on Friday. If she had, I'd just get her the shot and she'd be ready better by tomorrow. Yeah. Cats carry strep. Well, Olegelia's allergic to cats, so Cooper doesn't have any cats that I know of.
All right, do you want me to paint another green one? Is this one dry? Let me work on this one. Work. Why don't you work on that one? Why don't you just stress it, do your little situation? You don't have to go to school till next week. Aren't you not contagious after 24 hours? What kind of strep do you have? Are you milking it? I don't see why he wouldn't. He basically takes like two classes. I'm sure he's got a 4.0. Are you sure he has a 4.0? Cooper, what's your grade point average? Yeah. Come on. Come on, Cooper. Come on. Your, what are your grades yes. looking like? All right. He's going to be like, and I'm leaving now. <laughs> he's like, I got to go. Strap seems to hit some pound. So actually, I should also mention, Odelia has no tonsils or adenoids, and that's... Uh, usually when you, I don't know very many people that get strep that don't have tonsils. Because Odelia had sleep apnea and so did Harrington. So both of those kids do not have tonsils or adenoids. And they used to get strep before. And they, they did get a lot of infections and like sickness in their, from their tonsils. Like they were, they were huge. And Cooper doesn't have cats. No, I didn't think they would, at least not in the house for sure. Because they, his mom keeps a very clean house. I'm like, I should probably invite her over here. But like maybe the cleaning ladies need to come first. <laughs> Before she sees how we really live. The pile of stuff from the basement is still sitting in the corner. I told Deb, um, if I don't get that cleaned up in the next couple of Well, days, we had high hopes, the and then we got busy doing a couple projects that were more critical than the basement, and then now craft kits are upon us. They are upon us. All right. I did this stencil. And I got to go run and grab some This stencil. I think Caitlin's son also has straps that must be going around. Up, oh, yep. It it so it is going around. Jonah also has strep, and they live like twenty minutes away from here. Tis the season. All right, we're gonna use this screen sack here. All right, we're almost done on time. Are we? Oh, it's actually eleven o'clock. Yeah, so we got to hurry and finish a couple of these. I'm gonna sand this one. Well, these are pretty well dry if you want to heat gun these and sand those. And I'll keep working on this. So this is, someone asked what the difference is milk paint. You see these big flakes of milk paint coming off? Some of that's because I heat gunned it, but some of that's just the nature of milk paint. And it powders when you sand it. It doesn't like roll and it's not gummy. It, you can sand it super smooth. Like you use a 400 grit sandpaper on this, it's going to feel like glass when you're done. Price-wise, these boxes will probably sell for about, what, like $16.95? Yeah, it's... A box. I always like to let you guys know because I know some of you guys are resellers. Well, and so you could probably get, this is eight boxes, and I used three of the scrap ends. You could probably get about 30 of these boxes out of a sheet of MDF. To kind of and a sheet of MDF in our area is going for about 50 bucks right now, just to kind of give you a gauge on what supplies would cost if you wanted to make a bunch of these. For me, it's less about that because for us, it's just scrap and more about the, the time. And I always have scraps. Every craft kit, you can never use 100% of the board because my, uh, my table on my CNC is two by three. And so I make the whole sheet of two by three cutouts, but then I don't have a smaller sheet for the one little piece that's left over because it's not worth setting the machine up to cut that small piece out. Tina, as far as the, the pay program goes, I really don't know. We don't run it. It goes through the website. So the information is all on there. And when you sign up for it, your order ships and then everything is handled through the pay program. So it's not something that we do. So it's not, it's not a question. Like I can't help you because I just don't know. We have we an just, app that handles We all just of it. offer the pay program, so it does help people, and some people use it if they want to order something and pay over a few months, but we don't, it's not something we do. Like, it's not a it's January event. It's program. a third party um, so we'll help you. We, service that we use. We try to answer questions, but again, we don't know. Were you going to stencil this one, or do you want to just leave this one chippy? I used to buy yard sales and paint it to look a lot old like 20 years ago and my mom said i should start a business y'all are proving her right <laughs> well we've been doing this for seven years full time and jamie's probably been painting for 20 years or more well, i've been painting stuff since i was 13. yeah that's when i like legit. But like painting for resale for close to 20 years now yeah we, i used to sell at consignment stores there's a consignment store i sold at in prescott 
and I used to, it's no longer open, but there used to be a store in Salt Lake called Emily Jane. And when I Odilia was a little girl, you were consigning in Salt Lake and Emily Odilia Jane. is 17 now. Yeah, it's actually She was two when you were doing that. <clears throat> so there's at least 15 years plus some before that. All right, so this is the chippy milk paint with the salt wash and the DIY paint underneath. So you see some of that texture came through. We got some chippiness. And if you use like other contrasting colors, you can really mix this look up and make it look super old and crusty. Like this right now is looking like an old door off a barn or something. Cooper says it was up to him. He'd get his tonsils taken out too because they're really swollen. It's hard to get them out when you're an adult. You're almost there, buddy. <laughs> I mean, you can still we get them out. We might wish you had them out too if you snore when we go to Disneyland. Cooper's coming with us. We uh, we are to going to watch Odilia at Nationals the end of February. And Cooper's coming it's with us. Anaheim. Odilia's going with her cheer team and Cooper's coming with us because he wants to hang out All right, with us. so this is the different looks. Are we still need to distress one of these. Yeah. So this is this is just a little plant. Imagine it with like some really fun, like maybe floral pink. in here, like pink or something. And you could honestly like just black with this wash. If you just stress that, it probably wouldn't look. It would look pretty good. Like you don't have to go crazy with all the finishes. We still got to paint the bottoms. I did paint the bottom a little on this. It looks a lot better. Here you go. Here's that box. All right, so this one, and we'll probably wax these. Yeah, we'll just seal them up with wax. Wax is really easy and quick. You can just wax it, walk away. My if you want to buff it later, you can. After glazed pottery question. You know, I didn't see that, Terry, but we are going to call it because we've got to get um, Ivy back to doing what she's got to do. So send us a message at Jamie Ray Vintage on Facebook, and I will try to help you, or email info at jamierayvintage.com, and we can help you with your paint over glazed pottery. So these are all in the same stencil pack. They're like the grain sacks, stencil minis. So you could get, I think there's what, six in there? Six yeah. in the pack, six different stencils. I didn't do the Indiana that well, but I'll just stress it. Yeah, Thank you, fine. Caitlin, drop that. Or not Caitlin, I've dropped that email. And if you guys want to buy the paint or stencils or these boxes will be listed hopefully later today, visit jamierayvintage.com. These will all get listed under home decor. Um, and we do have a ton of stuff still painted from us on the thrift hall collection. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. If you make a box, let's see it. Yeah, share it sure. in the Jamie Ray Vintage group. I want to see your boxes. And remember.